to my brothers and sisters, we are going to begin our service. And this is going to be a full Holy Communion service. So um, if you'd love to receive the Holy Communion, feel free to come up um, the two here, because I will give a communion from this point. And then if you'd love to um, receive just a blessing, feel free to come up, but um, to just bow your heads down so that I know what you want. But if you want to just stay where you are sitting, that's absolutely fine. Um, during the service, we're going to sing two hymns, but if you don't have uh, the order of service, the first hymn that we are going to sing is hymn number 422. Feel free to use the hymn book placed in front of you. The hymn number is 422. And then later, the final hymn number, which is 475, I will make announcement again later. Let's have a quiet moment before we begin our service. Would you all please stand? The Lord will be your everlasting light, and your God will be your glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Dear my brothers and sisters, as children of a loving Heavenly Father, let us ask His forgiveness, for He is gentle and full of compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And you came to call the sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And you plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. 
May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Now, let us pray. O merciful Father, hear our prayers and comfort us. Renew our trust in your Son, whom you raise from the dead. Strengthen our faith that all who have died in the love of Christ will share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Now, please be seated for the scripture readings. Today's first reading is taken from the book of Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures, he leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord for ever. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now, would you, if you can, please stand for the Gospel reading. The Lord be with you. And a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. Now Bethany was near Jerusalem, some two miles away, and many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to console them about their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went and met him while Mary stayed at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now, I know that God will give you whatever you ask of him. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection on the last day. And Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, the one coming into the world. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Now please be seated. I just wanted to say a few words about my sister. Um, she was the most kindest person that I know. 
and I'm going to miss her terribly. But she's gone to a good place, so I know she'll be happy. Um, thank you all for coming. It shows that everybody liked her. Uh, and I just want to say, God bless everybody. First of all, I'd like to thank you all for coming to see my Violet off. She was a good soul and very loyal, and I hope she will ever come again. I'll meet her once and more. Thank you. We are gathered here today in the memory of my mother, Violet Pockrant, so that together we may acknowledge and share our joy in the gift that her life was to us and the pain that her passing brings. In sharing the joy and the pain together today, may we lessen the pain and remember more clearly the joy. May I say thank you to all for being here and for your support and condolences at this difficult time. My mother, Violet, will be so pleased, honoured and humbled to see you all here today to celebrate her life. My mother was a caring, supportive and loving wife to my dad who passed in 1988. She was also the best mother, sister and nan that you could wish, wish for. Yet she was unassuming and never felt she had achieved anything which was totally untrue. When she married my dad in 1950, I had nothing, but due to my mum's homemaking and housekeeping skills and teamwork with my dad, they managed to buy their own home in which I still live today. On top of her being a wife and amazing mother, she held various jobs to make ends meet and help improve our lives. Any spare time she had when I was a child, she spent knitting, and I remember every year me and my cousins had brightly coloured woody hats, fluorescent green and bright orange spring to mind. In her earlier years, she loved dancing, and I can remember going to many dinner dances with my mum and dad when I was a child, and later her taking ballroom lessons. Day to day, she was a person who needed very little, just her family around her, and to know that she was loved. She wasn't one for makeup, jewellery, designer handbags, or flash clothes. As Ronnie, her grandson, said, she was a simple person who found happiness in the smallest of things and content with what she had. She spent her life trying to help others, supporting her, them and with compassion. She was the most forgiving person I knew and never held a grudge. All of her life she loved animals and we had lots of pets during my childhood and at the end, two cats. She supported various animal charities. Animal cruelty of any kind really upset her and I can remember her crying on several occasions when reading or seeing pictures of animals suffering. My mother had been a member of the Mother's Union here for many years and her faith was very important to her. As a young woman, she had been a Sunday school teacher in Waltham Abbey where she was born. Whatever happened in life, she was always thankful to God and all through her trials never doubted her faith and loved being in church. I have lost my wonderful mother, companion, advisor and mentor. I'm also grieving for my son Ronnie, who has lost his wonderful nan. She taught us what is really important in life, to love, support and care for friends and family in our lives. 
I wish I had more time, and perhaps during that time, spent more of it with her. But I'm grateful the time we had, the many wonderful cruises we took together, the places we saw, and the adventures we had. Most of all, I'm grateful for the time I spent with her in the last week of her life, holding her hand and playing her favourite David Whitfield music. I'm sure she knew I was there, even though she was not conscious. And just to end, I want to say to my mother, dearest mother, I feel honoured and privileged to have been your daughter. You always loved me unconditionally, and I will miss and love you forever. May I speak in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Um, I don't know whether you know this pop song. Christy Berg, I think. Lady in Red. Um, if you, someone ask me, how do you describe the violet? <laughs> That is going to be my first word. Oh, Lady in Red, Lady in Red. This is how she's dressed now. That is a family's decision. I have to say a big thank you to each and every one of you to come here today to show your love and support to the family. Now, Violet and Ronnie and George, they did a wonderful job. They made Violet happy. That's the end that she wanted. And then that's what they gave to her. And even for this service, this is exactly what she wanted. Yesterday, we received a body to this church in the afternoon. We gathered here, we offered some prayers as she wanted to. And we also use the Psalm 139, the same psalm that the Majesty the Queen um, at her funeral, the choir sang, but we read the same psalm. I'm sure she was not complaining. As Ronnie said many times, oh, the nan was a simple soul, the simplicity. She was always content with what she had. But I think in deep down, what made her such simple, happy, supportive, and content soul is her faith. She knew that what she would get in the future. And then therefore, she wants us today, here in this church, share the bread through the Holy Communion and offer some prayers of thanksgiving rather than the prayer of lament and sadness and despair. Of course, passing of someone whom we love is always difficult. As if a father, Jason Clark, <laughs> once sent me a message about, we, we talk about, we still come, uh, keep in touch, by the way. And he sent me a message and on one that email, and it was a passing of some member of the church. And this is what he said. Losing someone whom we love, we're going into the darker place. But in heaven, the glory of God grows. I think the violet is the perfect example who understood that and who kept that faith as a foundation of her life. She was the one who could remember the prayers, even in her old age. I was quite amazed, by the way. She remembered all the prayers. So whenever I popped in to see her, to bring the Holy Communion, she remembered all the responses. It was a clear evidence that her life was built on the strong faith. So dear my friends, we gathered here to share our sorrow, to show our support to the families, but at the same time to witness 
and to share the faith that our friend Violet had. On the top of the coffin, yesterday, as we received the coffin in this church, we left a copy of Bible, which she received at her confirmation service, and also she received a small cross. Therefore, I'd love to encourage you to do not stay in the sadness. Let us come out of it. Let us share the hope for the future. And I am sure that's what Violet wants us to do this afternoon. I have to say a big thank you to all the family and friends bringing this service to you, this church. I'm sure Lady in Red will be very happy. Dear my friends, can I invite you to join me in prayers? Let us pray. We pray for the church throughout the world. Pray for all the faithful departed, all the Christians who had the same faith and hope for the eternal kingdom. We may be able to join them in the presence of God. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we also pray for the world. Pray for peace and prosperity. Especially we pray for those who are suffering. They may find peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for this church where our sister Violet has been worshipping that we may grow continually in numbers and in spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And also we pray for all those who have been unwell in body, mind and soul. And all those whom have asked of our prayers. May the Spirit of the Lord bring healing and comfort and may our prayers be answered. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And also we pray for all the faithful departed, including our sister Violet. On the last day, they may rise up in glory and live forever in the presence of God. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And also now, in silence, let us humbly commend our own private prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. And we say together, Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you and also with you and lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Father, we give you thanks and praise through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living word, through whom you have created all things, who was sent by you in your great goodness to be our Saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh as your Son, born of the Blessed Virgin. He lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us on the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life. So he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name forever, praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are king. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you things. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you, do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you things. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, and Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption as we offer you this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving we bring before you this bread and this cup and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you send the holy spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup so that we in the company of mary the virgin mother of god the apostles the martyrs, St. George, and all the saints may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, and by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Now, let us pray in the words our Saviour himself gave us. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed.
Let us pray. O oh, gracious God, we thank you that in your great love you have fed us with the spiritual food and drink of the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ, and have given us a foretaste of your heavenly banquet. Grant that this sacrament may be to us a comfort in affliction and a pledge of our inheritance in that kingdom where there is no death, neither sorrow nor crying, but the fullness of joy with all your saints through Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. The Lord be with you. Now, would you all please stand if you can. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your heart and mind in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God, the Almighty, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Now, the Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Now we are going to sing our final hymn, and during this hymn, I am going to sprinkle the coffin before we make our final journey to the crematorium. <laughs> Ah. Uh -huh.
O God of love, you have bound us together in life with Violet and all those whom we love, and open the door of heaven through the suffering and resurrection of Jesus. Look upon us in your mercy, give us courage to face our grief, and bring us all to the fullness of the risen life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.